Coming up on this week's episode, Adapt to Fly Scholarship from EAA Open for Applications, also Sporty's Flight Training Courses Revamped, and Cessna Singles Get a Little Greener. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Adapt to Fly Scholarship from EAA Open for Applications. EA reports that often they are asked about a variety of disabilities that some prospective aviators feel could prevent them from getting a license. While some conditions do preclude students from attaining their desired level of training, many members are surprised to find out just how many can be overcome. Their newest effort to assist those with unique challenges is the Adapt to Fly Scholarship Fund, designed to help those with disabilities enter the world of aviation. Totaling $5,000, applicants are accepted through November 1st. EAA says that learning to fly and overcoming the challenges inherent to aviation can be a transformational experience for people and a great way to build self-confidence. Each year, the EAA grants more than $1 million in scholarship support to students to create the next generation of aviation enthusiasts. The scholarship is available to persons with disabilities as defined under the Americans with Disabilities Act. And that meets the qualifications for a Class 3 medical or sport pilot certificate. Minimum pilot qualifications for those ratings apply, requiring the person to be 17 years of age or older, a United States citizen with a valid driver's license, and able to operate the controls of a training aircraft. After the break, Breeze Airways selects flight safety for SIMS. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter stories in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. Breeze Airways selects flight safety for sims. Flight Safety International has been selected by new addition to the American market, Breeze Airways, to provide their Airbus A220 and Embraer E190 full flight simulators and flight training devices, accompanied by maintenance of long-term operation of the devices and crew training equipment. Flight Safety has shipped nearly 40 E-Jet full flight simulators to customers, and the initial sim to be delivered to Breeze Training Academy in 2022 will be engineered and manufactured in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Elon University to host Drone Safety Seminar Elon University and the North Carolina DOT are offering a free drone safety awareness and general information seminar on November 8th. Elon Drone Day 2021 will be held in the Elon University School of Communications. Keynote talks, panel discussions, and contributions cover a wide spectrum of commercial and public safety applications from night operations, flight over populations, fast team ops, and maintenance, and the trust program, Part 107 certification, drone-based delivery, educational implementation of UAS tech, public safety utility, and legal considerations. New flight school for Tennessee students opening soon. Tennessee Area Flight School in Nashville Training has begun operations this month to open a satellite location at Maury County Regional Airport. The school is looking forward to creating more aviators to add to their 3,000 alumni taught over 10 years of education. The new facilities at Maury will feature new aircraft, flight simulators, and classrooms with plenty of space for ground training. 
Sim Arrow attains EASA certification for B737-800 Sim. French flight simulator company Simero has received an EASA certificate for their Boeing B737-800 full flight simulator from French Civil Aviation Authority after a series of improvements. The biggest change is the upgrade of its flight model software to the newest Block 3.0 Boeing model. Its certification has been revised to EASA CS FS TDA Issue 2, including UPRT and icing from an initial issue status. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Sporty's flight training course is revamped. Sporty's Pilot Shop has released their newest version of their flight training ground school courses, updated and enhanced for a more widespread training regimen. Improved test preparation software helps students ace the written tests for their ratings, while improved CFI integration helps keep track of milestones and objectives. The Sporties Online Library now contains over 20 aviation courses, compatible with phones, tablets, and TVs, made to give structure and quality to home study ground school. The courses are designed to take the student past the point of their written test with a complete education for the rating, not just the required minimum. With expensive ground training rates, the investment is self-study is often money well spent for students. Sporties touts its new integration of multiple smart TV platforms, allowing full resolution, full-size learning for Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Android, and Chromecast TV platforms. Progress syncs between devices so students can accurately track their place in the program without repeating material. The TV version includes the same interactive review segments and quizzes, making sure students retain the most important points of each piece. After these messages, Cessna singles get a little greener. More news after the break. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at Zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Textron has confirmed that many Cessna piston-powered aircraft are now approved to utilize a more environmentally friendly aviation gasoline. Owners and operators of Cessna 172 Skyhawk, 182 Skyline can utilize 91 octane unleaded, 94 unleaded or 100 very low lead fuel in their aircraft wherever it is possible. The 206 Turbo Stationer HD aircraft is approved for 100 very low lead. Unleaded and lower leaded fuels burn cleaner than higher leaded fuels currently used on most piston aircraft. Textron Aviation is committed to sustainability and this announcement is an excellent opportunity for aviation enthusiasts to minimize their carbon footprint while continuing to enjoy the journey of flight, said Chris Crow, Vice President, Piston and Utility Sales. All three Cessna models utilize engines manufactured by Lycoming, who finally approved the use of unleaded and low lead fuels after completion of a series of tests. The fuel is compatible for both new production and legacy Cessna piston aircraft. Operators may begin use of the alternative fuels once they are compliant with Service Bulletin SEB 2804 or MEB 2801. 
Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. <laughs>